I now look to Alfredo Munoz to continue the case for the proposition. Can we populate Mars now? No, we can't. Can we populate Mars in the future? Answering no to this question represents that we don't believe in the power of human innovation. I acknowledge the challenges that we have in today's society here on Earth. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals have explained it very well. For the last two years, my team and I have been working with a multidisciplinary team of scientists and artists to create a digital twin of a self-sufficient settlement on Mars. I am an architect, but I'm here today representing the optimism and the ideas of a multidisciplinary group of people that include top-level scientists with similar backgrounds of the, of the great uh, uh, opposition we have here. So what I want to say is that Mars gives us the opportunity to learn for things that can be used on Earth. Thinking out of the box requires to ask questions in a different manner. As a result, we will get answers that are obviously different. Some of those answers might give us interesting ideas that might lead to innovation. Here on Earth, we easily change our environment because we want to adapt it to our lifestyle. But the truth is that here, it's very easy for us to do so because the Earth is very forgiving. The amount of resources that we have allow us that when we do a change, we don't see the immediate actions. That means that sometimes we do harm to the planet and our future generations pay for our actions. Climate change is a great example. But the truth is that Mars is an extremely hostile environment. It automatically will show the results of our actions. That means that we will not be able to populate Mars if we don't do it sustainably. That's the only chance we have in Mars, to populate it in a sustainable manner. Having humans on Mars means that we will require settlements that are self-sufficient, that are resilient, that take the best out with very, very few resources. All of those characteristics are in complete alignment with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So let me give you an example. When on Mars, we were modeling some of the requirements for food, which our colleague asked here, our team that was working from the astrobiologist and life support systems were analyzing how much space we needed to actually provide food for a Mars colony. The interesting part is that we took some decisions, like for example, uh, uh, going for hydroponics and eliminating the natural meat, because animals, especially the big animals, require a lot of space and a lot of energy on Mars, which is not sustainable. So the final number that we came up was 100 meters per square foot, a square, 100 square meters per person. Interestingly, on Earth, we use 6,000 square meters on food related to farming and to livestock. That gives us great insights. That means that if on Earth we are able to change our technologies for farming and change our habits and diets, we will be able to liberate a lot of space that can be used for reforestation. That means that we will be able to help our planet thanks to the knowledge that we get by having people and populating Mars. Earth is having a lot of challenges, but life on Mars will be extremely difficult. So inhabitants on Mars will need to rely on each other. They will not survive if they don't support each other. That means that we will have probably a more group-oriented society where we will live in co-living environments with small private areas that people will enjoy and then they will have more common spaces for them to socialize. Mars is so harsh that we will be forced to transcend the individual interest. 
on Mars, we will not be able to live if we only think about ourselves. Colonizing Mars means that we cannot leave our partners behind, the same way that when we go for far exploration, we don't leave our partner because we are risking our own lives. This is a great opportunity for us to learn how Martians will live, because again, all of that knowledge and learning, we can take it back on Earth. More opportunities that we will have. The cities and the buildings will have to be extremely efficient. And all of that will come with technologies that we are implementing already on Mars. So for example, concrete is a very cheap material, but it's not very sustainable. So we are proposing on Mars the use of steel as the main material for structural purposes. We are planning to obtain the steel by combining CO2, water, and iron. We are proposing small 3D printed buildings as a way to create a small buildings that have a canopies on top of those buildings to protect from the lethal radiation and poten potential impact from micrometeorites. But we are also exploring solutions that are going inside the cliffs by creating tunnels that additionally provide other advantages to protect from some more challenges that we will face on Mars. Like for example, we have the uh, very cold temperatures that we have on Mars, freezing temperatures, or the differences in pressure that we will have inside the, the living spaces in comparison with the outside atmosphere. Additionally, by, by having the uh, tunnels on the cliffs, we are able to bring light indirectly, which is very important for the well-being of humans. So, the technology that we are implementing in order to solve the challenges that we have on Mars are already being implemented on Earth. And thanks to the scalability of them, we will see soon that they are going to change the landscape of our cities and our buildings. But Mars will require artificial intelligence and robotics. We did an analysis with, with, the, with the scientific team in order to understand how much energy we require in order to develop a self-sufficient settlement on Mars. The number was 10 times more than the average energy that we use per person here on Earth. It will be impossible on Mars to have such level of productivity if we don't have the support of robotics and artificial intelligence. But at the same time, the decision-making capacities that we have as humans in certain scenarios are not comparable to the ones that we have with robotics. Most importantly, robotics cannot become role models the same way that humans can. Humans are emotional, passion, creativity, admiration. Those are characteristics that are deeply associated with humans. We believe that if we let go the opportunity to build and to create, a, 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 to bring people on Mars, we are going to miss one of the biggest opportunities of civilization to actually prove that we can expand ourselves and be bigger than ourselves. Recent polls have shown that in the US and here in the UK, kids are substantially more interested in being YouTubers than astronauts. Indeed, in some of those polls, they indicate that the industries that are related to entertainment substantially surpass the interest of other industries. I would like you to think what are the values that you identify with an astronaut? What will be the values that we identify with Martians we have in our hands the values of future generations. Mars can become the lighthouse for our children to transcend who we are as humans. I understand populating Mars will be complex. The planet is too far, it's extremely harsh, and thinking that, we can that humans can support each other, it feels like delusional. But I believe that Mars 
can do it because it eliminates the safety factor. Either we do it or people will die over there. Science is built on trial and error. I'm not saying that the first time it will work. People that go to Mars will be courageous volunteers that will understand the risk that they are taking. And by doing so, they will take the entire civilization forward with their leadership. Information. Later, thank you. Exploration is part of who we are as humans. We are fortunate that we have been born in this house, the solar system. And some of us are looking forward to go to the next room, Mars, where we will have a lot of secrets that we will discover by living there. I encourage you to be optimistic that this house will populate Mars. Thank you.